And for Juan Fernandez, this is KCAL 9 News at 4, also streaming on mm -hmm. CBSN Los Angeles. Well, Governor Gavin Newsom, he signed the bill into law. And it's making history. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is live in Santa Monica with the legal implications here. Joy? That's right. What this means is college athletes can sign outside endorsement deals to make money. For example, I went to the University of Kansas. In 1997, Paul Pierce was drafted into the NBA. Kansas still sells Pierce jerseys, and he still doesn't get any money for it 22 years later. Now, a law like this won't change that. However, that's why many think it doesn't quite go far enough. Is all you ready? Yeah, Let's do it, man. <laughs> all right. On an odd choice of platform, Governor Gavin Newsom signed into law Senate Bill 206, also known as the Fair Pay to Play Act, on the HBO show The Shop, alongside NBA superstar LeBron James. The gig's up. Billions and billions of dollars, 14 plus billion dollars goes to these universities, goes to these colleges, billion plus revenue to the NC2A themselves. And the actual product, the folks that are putting their lives on the line, putting everything on the line, uh, are getting nothing. The bill makes it legal for college athletes at four-year schools to get paid for endorsement deals while not jeopardizing their college scholarships. To be honest with you guys, this is like the first time I'm really even hearing about it. Although football players at UCLA weren't eagerly awaiting the announcement at practice today, head coach Chip Kelly says it's about time. I don't think it's progress. You know, the Olympics used to just be for amateurs. You know, the, the, the Olympic model changed over time, so... I would imagine the NCAA model has to change over time. But the law may not affect as many players as fans believe. It applies only to outside endorsements not negotiated with the NCAA or college programs that just come with being a part of the team, like those jerseys sold at the school bookstore. Stuff you see at the student bookstore, jersey sales, anything to do where, let's say, for example, UCLA has the apparel deal with Under Armour would not affect that at all. That goes straight to the university. The players would see none of that. The NCAA released a statement regarding the law stating, as a membership organization, the NCAA agrees changes are needed to continue to support student athletes, but improvements need to happen on a national level through the NCAA's rules making process. Unfortunately, this new law already is creating confusion for current and future student athletes, coaches, administrators and campuses, and not just in California. Maybe you choose UCLA or a California school over an out-of-state school because you have the ability to negotiate these contracts and not get in trouble for it. And the truth is, there are still a lot of unanswered questions about how this law may affect a player's status if the NCAA doesn't change some of its rules, which is why the law doesn't take effect for three years. But it is a push toward NCAA reform that many admit is needed. So I think it's actually a a blessing that the NCAA didn't have to fight something even stronger. Yeah, only time will tell exactly how this works out. There has also been a lot of concern that maybe female athletes would be at some sort of a disadvantage because of this. But the experts that I've spoken with say that's not the case. They say it actually may promote a lot of female athletes we, we wouldn't usually get to see because a company like Gatorade isn't going to sign a male football player with maybe also not signing a female volleyball player or a swimmer or something of those lines. So it may actually promote female athletes in a way that we haven't seen before. Guys. Mm. All right.